today we are playing gamelan for the teachers who are engaged in Asian studies and all of this food is for the lands. Food is very important in Indonesian culture because the notion of festivity is more or less around the meal. The fact that Australia has cultural representation like Pandopo, it just shows that the people who live in Australia, they will still have some connection with their cultural identity. I think that's great. I was born in a small town called Wonosari, Yogyakarta Special Province. It is in Java Island. When I was younger, there are three things I was obsessed. The first one is associate, communicate with the intellectuals. The second, to continue my education. And the third, I would like to go overseas. In that time, I didn't have any possibility to migrate at all. One day, I was teaching Anton Javanese. He asked me, why didn't you teach in Australia to supply a job in Flinders University in Adelaide? I will make reference for you. And since then, we are good friends. When I came to Adelaide for the first time, it took me probably six months to understand the context in which the language is spoken. For example, I was waiting for a friend of mine and there was a sign, no standing. Therefore, I walked back and forth along the pavement. My friend of mine it just burst into laughter. So that's how I pick up the language. Currently, I'm teaching in two places. I'm teaching Indonesia. One in a WA adult learning and the other one is in a Rostrefer College. The approach I always maintain is that fair to the students and engage with the students is also important. 60. <laughs> the difference between teaching in Indonesia and in Australia is that some of the students just take the education for granted. While back in my hometown, every kid struggled to get into the education system. That's what made me sometimes feel uneasy. But the people in Adelaide are so laid back, they greet more warmly than people from different cities in Australia. The town itself, it is not too crowded. There are heaps of wineries and vineyards. And that's, that's beautiful. Look at the landscape, especially when it is spring. Yep, I love Adelaide. My daughters uh, graduated from universities in Adelaide and now they are working in the state. It is not easy for me to pinpoint their Indonesian-ness or their Australian-ness, so I would call them kind of hybrids. That's the joke. Gamelan is a traditional Japanese music. How well we play is dependent on our listening skill. When you play Gamelan, you have to go beyond that music in front of you. I feel at home in Australia in the sense that we come from a different cultural background and yet what we bring with us is actually appreciated and given a chance. If there is anything I miss when I'm living in Australia, it is a kind of relationship between siblings and relatives. But I try to kind of avoid regret. It won't make you happy because you will be haunted by your past. So happy is a kind of balance how you look at things. My philosophy is when you sleep in the floor, you will never fall down. And my goal is just take every day as it comes. <laughs>